Welcome back to Morning Break. This weekend you have a chance to see what's new and revisit what's familiar mm -hmm. at the UGA Skidaway Institute of Oceanography. It is their free marine science day at the aquarium all across the campus on Skidaway Island. That's where Kyle is this morning. He's going to get an early look at what will be a full afternoon of hands-on activities. And Kyle, I think that's really the reason you are there, right? To, to get your hands on some of that sea life out there. You know, my hands are free right now. They won't be in a minute. We're going to walk over to the touch tank. But I just wanted to highlight something uh, earlier. We were talking about um, the, the threat, the dangers to our coastline. And we watch when uh, storms are making their way in and around our area. And, you know, talking about coastal hazards. And that's part of the education out here. Although we may be the biggest uh, coastal hazard uh, here in the coastal empire. Take a look at that a display that shows what we're leaving behind. Uh, not leaving behind anything. We're actually going to check out. Uh, what's in the touch tanks and I've got Shannon Matsky who is a marine educator here uh, at the uh, UGA Aquarium on uh, Skidaway today to talk about uh, the marine science day the fun that the kids will be able to have and you said too the adults because we're also having a good time over here at the touch tank yes everybody loves the touch tank not just kids um, so come out to Skidaway Marine Science Day it's this Saturday October 12th from 10 to 3 and it's an opportunity to get to see our aquarium um, no charge our aquariums open six days a week but for this event you can come in free you can check out our aquarium the touch tanks go behind the scenes and see how we feed and care for animals and also we open up some of our teaching spaces that are usually close to the public but you can see some reptile collections you can look under the microscope at plankton and marine invertebrates and also we've got some partners that we host this event with so we are the University of Georgia Marine Extension and Georgia Sea Grant um, but we host this with the Skidaway Institute of Oceanography and Gray's Reef National Marine Sanctuary who also have marine science campuses here on Skidaway so you can check out the research that they're doing you can climb aboard the 52-foot research vessel, the Gannet, by which Gray's Reef will be giving tours of. And you can check out lots of exhibitors. So local organizations will be out here tabling, providing activities and information about what they do. So there's a lot going on. It's a free event, and it's a great chance to come and check out our aquarium. All right, so we have got the touch tank. Uh, let's let's get our hands wet, if you will. What are, What's something that I'm okay to reach in and touch? Hmm, do let's we know? see what we can find in here. So we've got lots of things in this touch tank. We've got some hermit crabs. We've got some spider crabs. I was hoping to find a little spider crab for you to hold. However, it looks like that one's disappeared. So I'm going to hold one of our bigger spider crabs. You're welcome to hold it if you'd like. Just watch your hands with the, with the claws. Okay. So this is one of the animals that people can check out and hold while they visit us. Um, so there's lots of things in here. We've got our horseshoe crabs that we'll talk about. And this is an example of something that's always available if you visit our aquarium. But we'll have lots of extra time and extra touch tanks open for us to Marine Science Day. Yeah, we were watching things that were moving. We actually saw some shrimp. I don't know if we can in, we can try to spot them. Do you, oh, there they are, right there by our fingers, uh, that were in the water. And uh, yeah, the much the smaller crab. We had a hermit crab. Here we go. Let's, let's move over here to this uh, green shell. We can kind of see it just in there moving. Um, for folks who are wanting to come out here, like you said, on, on Saturday they can experience uh, this from maybe a different perspective, uh, but they can come out here any day of the week and, and, and check this out. Definitely. Um, so this is open to the public. Uh, there is an admission fee, but like I said, on Saturday it'll be free. And some other things that you can check out on Saturday that aren't usually open to the public include our Shellfish Research Lab. So that's also with Marine Extension Georgia Sea Grant, and it's right next door. Um, we are growing oysters to sell to oyster farmers. And mm -hmm. so that's a really cool thing happening here. And the Shellfish Research Lab faculty and staff members will be providing a mobile hatchery experience and also will be providing some hands-on activities for kids. All right. I want to mention, we mentioned the horseshoe crabs. Uh, we want to really quickly uh, show you this because we're going to have a uh, feeding because, um, you know, it's breakfast time for us. And I guess it might be breakfast time for the horseshoe crab. I don't know. Oh, well, this is a special feeding. This crab is not usually getting fed today. And I called it a crab. It's not actually a crab. Um, this is more closely related to a spider or a scorpion. It's not a true crab, but that's actually its mouth that I just put that piece of shrimp in. And it's using all of those little appendages to push food in. Um, and we call this a living fossil. This animal has been around for 400 million years. It hasn't changed in about 200 million years. So while this animal may only live to be about 20 years old, the species has survived the dinosaur extinction and has found a really great body type. 
that works. And we got four of them in here, and uh, you guys will notice that I grabbed the smallest one, but that was what Shannon recommended, uh, so that maybe that would be easier uh, for the feeding. Oh, double dose of shrimp. They can get very excited. <laughs> um, one thing I want to point out about horseshoe crabs, you might see these on the beach, especially in the spring. They come up to spawn, lay their eggs, fertilize their eggs. This body part here, its tail, it's called a telson, and it's not like a stingray that has a barb or a stinger, something that can hurt you. Since this animal doesn't have arms to help it flip back over, this tail is just for mobility. So if it flips over like we're holding it now, it might use that tail to flip itself back over on the beach. All right, well, I'm gonna use uh, the tail that I don't have to move to the other side here of the aquarium when we come back. Uh, we're gonna check out that new exhibit that we were talking about, a uh, 3D uh, shoreline exhibit, uh, something new that is here at the aquarium. More on that when we come back. Thanks.